Hey friends, good evening, where I am. Very drizzly day today. Uh, so we have first day of the day, uh, first day of the month. So we have a new hero of the month, third fellow for 2023. Gilligan or Gilligan, whichever way one wants to pronounce. Um, barbarian class, so he gives a bleed. This will be active 305 days from now. There is a passive. Mana gains a small amount of mana for every active status effect buff that the enemy team has at the start of each turn. Which means if it's a very buffy team, then this guy can speed up significantly. Yeah. Uh, the second passive is this character has innate resistance against status ailments that affect mana. This is like slowing down mana and so on and so forth. So that can be that will be resisted by this hero so yes this is where the trick lies okay let's go into the stats which look very underwhelming 743 attack 760 defense and 1528 which is a high health at slow speed reckless charge deals 300 300% damage to the target and nearby enemy, so hits 3. The attack has 60% chance to bypass defensive buffs, which includes counter-attacks. All allies get plus 35 defense for 4 turns. <laughs> and there's an element link that gives all holy allies plus 5% chance, plus five chance to dodge status ailments for 4 turns. This effect can't be dispelled. So, well, the slow speed... And the low stats really make this hero very underwhelming. This is where the trick lies. So it's a very buffy team. And if somebody has chosen to level up uh, Jilligan, then uh, there is... But that's too much of thinking and too much of efforts. I would have wanted these stats to be better. At least the defense. Because if this is a slow hero... Such low defense to a slow hero is, as it is, making the hero useless. Uh, I like the combo of the specials. The speed can be improved with this. So I will not sit, totally trash this hero. Um, when I look at these stats, this is the stat of... Uh, okay, this is a little bit on the higher side, so comparatively, but 1600 something is the stat of um, the Hatter, who is five years old in this game, if not more. Yeah, about four and a half, five years old in this game. So, I mean, you cannot give uh, the hero starting stats of, or rather, stats of five year old hero. I mean, this is silly really silly i mean sg should rebalance this hero while this hero of the month is in the portal that's what i feel uh so and the second part uh, that is underwhelming uh, is the slow speed but there is a possibility over here so i will leave that to that because if it's loaded buff this hero can really speed up to an average and with appropriate troops would technically become a fast uh, speed hero so and then delivering all this can become really cool so that's uh, jilligan for you from the hero card not uh, something great to write about but conditionally can speed up and hence deliver some wax but this really will require a lot of investment first of all I find it challenging to see Jilligan getting, a lot of Jilligans getting uh, darts, which is the final ascension for a five-star holy. And if that happens, then obviously huge amount, uh, this will have to be plus 20 and limit broken to be able to get a decent uh, punch possible. Still, it's underwhelming because 855 defense on a limit broken plus 20 hero is low and it's a five-year-old stats as i'm constantly repeating so disappointing hero i feel um, if sg has such issues in life 
then they should uh, you know cut down on heroes of the month make it heroes of bi month so you know one uh, hero of the month comes for a period of two months you know just come out with uh, you know and this i'm not saying um, you know in terms of how many heroes of the month cards get pulled it's primarily that you know get six heroes of the month in the whole year but get good cards so i would leave it at that so thanks for watching hope this gives you some value i think um disappointed is the word that i'm going to leave it at cheers